Hello and welcome to Double DJ. This video is part of the Serato series which will be showing you how to do many different things in Serato. This video is going to be showing you how to add music to your Serato DJ using iTunes. So I have this track named Kickin' which one of my mates has made. Uh, his name is Ben Self, he's a good producer, you should check him out on uh, Soundcloud. You're going to want to right click on the track you want to add and click open in iTunes, as shown. This should then add to your recently added section, however I want this track to be in the My Tracks playlist. So if I right click on it, select add to playlist and scroll up to My Tracks that should automatically add it. Now if I go down to the My Tracks playlist you can see it there. Now I'm going to go ahead and open Serato DJ. Whilst this is opening let me take uh, this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up rating if it helps you in any way. So as you can see here I have my some of my Serato crates and my iTunes library showing. However, if you are having an issue where your iTunes library does not show, then you're going to want to exit Serato DJ and head back into iTunes. From there, you're going to want to go to the Preferences, click on Advanced, and make sure Share iTunes Library XML with other applications is checked. This allows other software such as Serato DJ to view your library. So now if you reopen Serato DJ you should see all your iTunes playlists in there. So these are all the playlists uh, that I have showing in my iTunes and they are showing in Serato DJ and I have used exactly the same steps as I am showing you. Now I want to add the track I just added into iTunes in my Serato My Tracks crate. This is another track that I've made with uh, Ben Self as well. So now I'm going to want to head into my iTunes My Tracks playlist and it's as simple as dragging and dropping it into your Serato crate. Now what you'd want to do at this point is analyse the files which just gives you data such as the BPM and the key. As you can see Kickin is already analysed but there are some other tracks I have recently added that have not been analysed yet. At this point you can also arrange them by BPM or key. You can also arrange them by name, artist and so on. As you can see I've clicked BPM and it's gone in ascending order, so 118 and 126. I like to have all my iTunes library showing in Serato DJ, but I also have crates named exactly the same as my iTunes playlists. For me this helps to arrange my music and also backs it up as it is stored in more than one place. This might not work for you however to do this, but everyone prefers different ways to arrange their library. We will do a video on this at some point in the future, so stay tuned to see that. If this video has helped you in any way, it would be great if you would subscribe to our channel and like this video. There will be many more videos to come about Serato DJ in the future, and thank you for watching.